Get ready to dive into the epic world of particle physics. CERN is like the ultimate playground where scientists unravel the mysteries of the universe. Except playing God comes with risks, and the USA has taken notice. Join us as we unveil CERN's shocking discovery, and the government's response will leave you astonished. An even greater particle accelerator is in the works that could shake the world. It seems that all caution's thrown in the wind. So buckle up because it seems that scientists are ready to challenge everything you think you know about the universe. Understanding the Large Hadron Collider Before we jump to why the US isn't a fan of CERN, let's rewind to what makes CERN such a force of nature. Deep in Geneva, CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, recreates the mind-boggling conditions of the Big Bang by smashing protons together at lightning-fast speeds. Back in 2012, scientists celebrated the detection of the Higgs boson, and we all breathed a sigh of relief that it didn't trigger a catastrophic wormhole. The Large Hadron Collider is the granddaddy of all particle accelerators. It's like a massive racetrack, but instead of cars, it sends particles zooming at unimaginable speeds. The LHC helps scientists smash particles together to unlock the secrets of the universe. Interestingly, this beast is colder than outer space itself. Can you imagine a temperature of 1.9 Kelvin, which is minus 271.3 degrees Celsius? That's like super duper freezing, almost absolute zero. The LHC has a cryogenic cooling system that keeps it chilling at this frigid temperature. Why? Well, it's all for the sake of those incredible superconductor electromagnets. These magnets are like the powerhouses of the LHC guiding proton beams on a wild journey around a 27-kilometer loop buried 100 meters underground. If you were propelling bursts of 200,000 billion protons around that massive ring at a mind-boggling rate of 11,000 times a second, you definitely need some help keeping cool. The LHC's protons zoom around in opposite directions, getting faster and faster until they collide with an intensity that creates a mind-blowing array of subatomic particles. And guess what? One of those particles is our rock star, the Higgs boson. It's like a cosmic collision party, where particles go wild. Now let's set the record straight. The Higgs boson isn't just any particle, it's the goddamn particle. Well, before its discovery on July 4th, 2012, scientists had a theory, but they lacked proof about how elementary particles like electrons and quarks get their mass. It was so frustrating that Nobel Prize winning physicist Leon Lederman wanted to title his book about it, The Goddamn Particle. If the universe is the answer, what is the question? So instead, it became known as the God Particle, a term that some people find irksome because they believe religion and science should be separate. Now it seems that CERN wants to take one more step into the unknown with an even greater particle accelerator. Bolder and Bigger Future Circular Collider in a conference held in June 2023, hundreds of brilliant physicists gathered in London to discuss the FCC, a massive particle collider that could surpass even the awe-inspiring Large Hadron Collider at CERN. We're talking about something truly grand here, with a jaw-dropping estimated cost of £20 billion and an underground tunnel spanning a whopping 100 kilometers. Let's break it down. The first phase of the FCC, known as the FCCEE, would zoom in on the Higgs particle giving us an unprecedented level of precision in its study. The aim is to surpass the capabilities of the LHC and unlock new secrets about this elusive particle. Enthusiastic supporters of the FCC envision the construction of the FCC EE beginning in the early 2030s, with hopes of completing it by 2045. That's like embarking on an epic scientific adventure spanning more than a decade. Once the FCC EE completes its mission, the same tunnel can be repurposed for the second phase, called the FCC HH. This next level collider would be a proton proton smashing powerhouse, boasting an astonishing seven times the energy of the LHC. Imagine the mind boggling discoveries and mind expanding knowledge that could come from such a colossal machine. CERN has been hard at work on the FCC project since 2019. They've released reports, conducted feasibility studies, and brought together brilliant minds from around the world to make this ambitious dream a reality. The recent FCC conference was a pivotal moment to review progress, set goals, and fuel the collective enthusiasm for this awe-inspiring endeavor. 
Fabiola Gianotti, the Director General of CERN, radiated conference in the FCC's potential and emphasized the importance of collaboration to make this scientific marvel come to life. This extraordinary endeavor not only shines a light on the mind-bending realm of particle physics, but also embodies global collaboration, purpose, and progress. It's a daring mission to uncover the unknown and satisfy our insatiable thirst for knowledge. The question is, what is the need to spend billions on this beastly machine? The Purpose of the FCC the FCC aims to unlock the deepest secrets of the universe to explore the fundamental particles and the laws of physics that govern our existence. By colliding particles at mind-blowing energy, scientists hope to uncover the building blocks of matter and unveil new particles and phenomena. Except it doesn't stop there. The FCC's primary focus is on studying the Higgs particle, a vital piece of the puzzle in the standard model of particle physics. By scrutinizing the Higgs particle in finer detail, scientists can gain profound insights into its properties and potentially unveil new physics that goes beyond the standard model. And that's not all the FCC has in store for us. It offers an unprecedented opportunity to investigate particles and phenomena that have so far eluded our grasp. With higher energy collisions, we must stumble upon new particles, discover novel interactions, or even catch tantalizing glimpses of previously unknown physical theories. In a nutshell, the purpose of the FCC is to push the boundaries of our knowledge in particle physics, venture into uncharted territories of the universe, and uncover the hidden secrets that await us. It's an extraordinary quest that promises to revolutionize our understanding. CERN Faces Opposition It seems the USA is not exactly jumping on board the CERN train. They're raising some mind-blowing concerns about the proposed future circular collider that'll make your head spin. First things first, the cost. Brace yourself for this one. Building and operating the FCC could cost tens of billions of dollars. And we're not talking about chump change here, we're talking serious moolah, potentially over a billion dollars per year in operating costs alone. That's enough to make your jaw drop. Some sharp minds in the USA are questioning the very need for this massive collider. They're saying that the scientific return on investment might not be worth it. The Large Hadron Collider already did some impressive stuff like discovering the Higgs boson and filling in the gaps in the standard model. So why go bigger when the scientific case seems a little slim right now? Back then, one of the most significant controversies surrounding CERN was related to the construction and operation of the Large Hadron Collider (LHC). Before its launch, there were concerns that the high energy collisions within the LHC could potentially create micro black holes or other dangerous phenomena that could threaten Earth. Except extensive scientific studies and safety assessments were conducted, which concluded that such scenarios were highly unlikely and that the experiments were safe. Nonetheless, these safety concerns sparked public debates and media attention. And get this, there are doubts about whether higher energy collisions are the only way to go for certain mysteries, like dark matter or dark energy. Maybe there are better, cheaper experiments out there that could blow our minds without breaking the bank. It's time to think outside the collider, people. So, instead of splurging on colossal colliders, some folks are saying why doesn't CERN dabble in making groundbreaking technologies that can make colliders more affordable and compact? An ally in the USA with advancements like wakefield acceleration and room temperature superconductors, we could revolutionize the game and unlock mind-boggling discoveries without draining our wallets. And here's the shocker, particle physicists seem set on their collider obsession. It's like they're stuck in a loop, always wanting to build bigger and bolder machines, whether it makes sense or not. Now it's important to remember that just because everyone's wary about CERN doesn't mean they're not allies. Currently, the United States has the largest user community at CERN, with over 2,100 registered users from U.S. institutes. This highlights the extensive involvement and leadership of U.S. physicists in the research conducted at CERN. It's time to take a step back, rethink our priorities, and put our money where it matters most. We need a scientific funding revolution, one that doesn't just reward the same old players. And that's the latest on CERN's shocking proposals for the future. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.